All right, guys, welcome back. So this is going to be a very exciting video because you guys are going to witness the rise of Astrolith, a legendary champion that was almost forgotten by most raid players. And a lot of people think that this is probably one of the worst legendary champion in the game. But you know what? She's back, all right? I think I made a video about her very long time ago. I'll show you guys the bomb team in Arena. But that was because that was really long time ago. So back then there wasn't like specific team setup and there wasn't any increased accuracy champion at the time. But things changed because Stone Skin eventually become the meta. And uh, if you guys are not familiar with the Stone Skin effect, basically the champion with Stone Skin gear is gonna have a uh, it's gonna have a buff which prevent taking damage and prevent any debuff, but that champion can be damaged by bomb and the bomb is gonna do four times the damage four times the normal damage so it's pretty much dead that champion is pretty much dead if you use bomb against them so so i see some content creators started putting out video saying that stone skin is gonna be invincible like if you put a full team with stone skin something like that all right here it is i'm going to show you guys how to completely destroy stone skin team with Astrolith, okay? So let's get into it. All right, so let's just get into Arena right away. Like usual, let me do some fights first and I will show you guys the gear later. And let me show you guys the team setup right away. It's not gonna be just one team setup. I have to switch champion a lot because things gonna change. Um, against this team, I'm able to use a team like this. They don't really have crazy AOE damage dealer, so I'm not really worried about getting one shot. So. Uh, let me explain the team synergy here. Astralid puts out a bomb that cannot be resisted. Iron Vizier is gonna spread it. It's no secret. I made a video very, very long time ago. And Astralid has a very good uh, speed aura, right? And then we gotta have Yoshi here. For the increased attack and increased accuracy, he is the only champion in the entire game that can do these two buffs at the same time. Alright, then we got a Cithalia. So Cithalia is gonna give my team a slight terminal boost and decrease team's, uh, enemy team's terminal a little bit, plus the buff strip. I think Cithalia is probably the best buff stripper pairing with the, the bomb comp because bomb ignores 100% of defense already. You don't really need any debuffs on the enemy team except weaken. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys weaken later. But for this fight, let me just get in there like this. It should be very easy. All right, increase attack. Remove it. Let's target Mountain King. Boom. All right, let's see this. All right, that's still fine. They're gonna die here. Tw um, the team is too slow, so it takes them a while to get a turn. Oh, that's a super, super slow Mountain King. I don't know why, what I don't know why you even gear your Mountain King like this. It's completely useless. Mountain King needs speed. Alright, I'm gonna target those slow team first. Obviously, those are non hedgy team first. I'll show you guys this team's synergy. Alright, it's gonna work against this team as well because it's middle of the week. It's a little bit difficult to find the Stone Skin teams, uh, but it just works exactly the same. Alright. The champion that has stone skin will get the bomb debuff. So if they has a necrit, if they have a necrit, my Yoshi is gonna get crazy terminal boost because of this passive here. Just do this. Do this. Let me target uh necrit and just spread it. Boom. Alright, that CP is um in swift parry. That's fine. Look at this! Super smooth and satisfying to watch. Alright, against a candy team, I gotta be very careful because um I could lose this fight. If this candy has a swift parry, right? I just lose this fight. If swift swift parry procs, that candy is gonna one shot my team. Um but if this is a stone skin candy, he just dies. That's why I still don't recommend people to put stone skin on candy phone. Candy phone is still much better in a swift parry set. Let's see here, I might lose this fight. If I lose, I'll switch to a different comp and I'll show you guys in a bit. Alright, that's fine. 
Just still, I can remove it. Let's put on Lydia. Spread it. I just put it on auto, whatever. Alright, sweet pair here. But my true fear proc, so I was a bit lucky. Anyways, let me refresh here and find some more tanky team. Alright, this one is really hard. I can't use this team against this one because uh, his warlord is super fast. I'm gonna try this candy team again. Let's see if this is a swift parry candy. Boost. Remove it. Put it on Necrit. And spread it. Let's see here. Boom, boom. Okay. I was a bit lucky here, I guess. Swift parry proc, and he weak hit one of my champion. Alright, so... Let me do just uh, like one more fight and show you guys what I'm talking about. And then I'm gonna switch to a different team setup. So, if you're going against a slow and super tanky team, it's gonna be very easy. Alright, he uh, resisted my, um, my buff strip, but that should be fine. Let's see here. Look at the damage. Alright. Not bad. Let me refresh that. And, uh... Let me just switch to a different team setup. Okay, let's try to go against this team. This is a super difficult team. I won't be able to win this with this team setup. Well, we can try it. I might, lo I might lose this one. We can still try it. Alright. The counter-attack just absolutely killing me here. Alright, let's see. See the thing here? That's what I'm talking about, right? If this is a stone skin candy phone, he would already be dead. Alright, so let's go like this. I mean, it should work. Let's take a look here. Um, He, de he decreased my <laughs> turn meter of my astrolet. So... <laughs> That's a bit of a problem here. Anyways, let me just find an easier one. Uh, it's probably not gonna work against this team. Alright, so let me just try to go against another um, relatively easier team and show you guys some different team setup. We can try this one. Um, Candy Phone or Leoris can really be a prog problem because um, if they Swift Pair procs and they, they get a turn, they can pretty much one-shot my team. So... Um, you gotta be very careful when, uh, when going against a candy phone team, right? So the team I'm going to absolutely avoid is those um, candy phone pairing with cardio team or candy phone with hegemon team. Those team is just extremely difficult if you want to use um, bomb team to go against them. So as I mentioned before, we can actually pair very well with bomb team because um. The bomb already ignores 100% of enemy defense, right? But it can still benefit from the 25% weakened debuff, which just simply gives you 25% increased damage. And this champion here, Ryan, this is from a Doom Tower Fragment Summon, and uh, I think he's the third Fragment Summon here. And he can remove every buff from the enemy champion and place a weaken. It is really good. And this champion has a... Um, has a accuracy aura, so you can put him as lead. So when when you're going against a candy phone Leoris team, you're gonna be very careful. So just to play it safe, all right, you gotta use a warlord on your team. So let's put their skill cooldown. Weaken. Let's play on Necrit. All right, two bombs. So, also Ryan has a very good A1, which you can place a um, block buff. But like, the weakness of this team is really... Um, it's really the deflection set, alright? And you gotta be very careful with Astralis stats. You don't want crit rate at all. So we can go like this here. Wait, Kendrafon actually resisted my buff removal? Is this some type of 3% thing here? Wait, 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 let me actually try it again. 
Is that a deflection set on the end? Yeah, maybe the first thing set I'll show you guys is still is still the best. So let's do this. Let's put it on necrit. Spread it. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> That's fine. I put their skill to cooldown. It just takes a little while <laughs> because I don't have <laughs> he cleansed my bomb. Alright, alright, alright. Probably the first team is still the best. Alright, probably the first team setup is still the best. So let's just um, let's just uh, go like this again. Okay. Increase accuracy and strip. It's a little bit dangerous with Swift Parry though. One shot me? Is he gonna one shot me here? Okay, he didn't even get a turn. So maybe this team setup is still the best team here. Um, let me try to find some different team. So, alright, let me just do one more. Like, I think the, the reason that I'm failing is because all these champions, not all of them are on stone skin. If I actually see someone building a team with full stone skin, it's gonna be super easy, alright? No joke. So let's do uh, Lydia. Ooh, Lydia almost died. Don't die here. Look at this stone skin necrid. Boom. More than 100,000 per bomb. No! <laughs> oh. Alright, that's the problem of when you're going against a Leoris or Candy Phone, alright? So. Maybe you don't need attack up here. Uh, let me tr just try to try to go like this. A very safe team setup. This is a safe play. Okay, so let's put on Lydia. Let's spread it. All right, safe play here. With this team setup, you don't really have increased accuracy, so it's a little bit difficult to go against a super high resistance team. So, anyways, let me do one more and I'm going to end the video. So let's do this team here. Put their skill cooldown. Like, this is a squishy team. I think I can easily get rid of them without attack up here. This should be easy one shot here. Alright, only one bomb. A little bit unlucky here. Can I kill Sifi? Come on, come on, give, give me out of here. Right, this is a very weak team. Bring a Warlord is just very, very safe against those damage dealing team. Anyways, I guess that will do it for the showcase. All right, so um. Let me show you guys the gear now. Like, if you want to try this team out, you really have to be very careful with Kendra Front team. The best way to do a go against Kendra Front team is to bring someone that can uh, put his skill to cooldown. That's just a very safe way to do it. And you're absolutely going to avoid Cardio team. Cardio is the nemesis of this team here. I tried many times, I just tend to avoid Cardio teams. Alright, let me show you guys the Astralith first. It's a baseline Astralith. Um, very high attack in immunity set for this champion because the bomb is irresistible So you don't really have to worry about accuracy and the one important thing is you actually don't want to book this champion If you did it's still okay, but it, an unbooked astrolith is better because you really don't want her damage put except the bombs so Super high attack no crit at all because if if he crit on his a2 it's gonna hit super hard the problem is, if you hit super hard on this A2, um, it's going to proc one of the passive here. I'm not sure. Oh, Alright, this one here. 50% chance to remove one random debuff when loses 25 or more HP, percent more HP, right? So you technically don't want this skill to do any damage except the bomb damage. So no crit at all, but super high attack because I use um, like Yoshi Cecilia team setup. I kind of want this champion to be speed tuned, so I still need to her. Uh, I still need her to be 
relatively faster. I cannot just gear him with 200 speed. So the next is gonna be Vizier. Where's my boy Vizier? This is actually my first ever legendary on my account. I pulled this champion back in 2019. My first ever, my first ever legendary. So again, uh, the speed is just tuned with Astrolith. I think he is two speed lower, two speed slower than Astrolith. And everything else, the only thing matters is accuracy. Nothing else matters. Still immunity set. I think it's a little bit better, right? When you're against Hegemon or Torment, so I tend to put them in immunity set. For the mastery, you're still gonna go with the increased accuracy. He doesn't do much damage. All he needs to do is the spread debuff, and I didn't even fully book him. And for Yoshi, um. For Yoshi, like this is the only champion in this game that can do increased accuracy and increased attack at the same time. Alright, so fast speed over 300 with decent accuracy because he can do a AoE of uh, true fear. So why not? This is a very strong debuff. And uh, this passive is also really good, especially against Necrit. He's gonna have a lot of turn meter boost when you're going against Necrit. That's Thedalia, I do have a plus one Thedalia and for this champion, I just gear her relatively faster and very high accuracy like this type of accuracy is not necessary because I already have an increased accuracy buffer on my team so yeah, that's basically it um, the reason you guys are seeing this team is not very consistent is because most of the team, they don't have 4 champions in stone skin if you, if in arena someone put their team with four stone skin champions, that is a huge, huge mistake. That is not the right thing to do. So, do not put the entire team in stone skin. Otherwise, the bomb team is gonna destroy them very easily. Like, you guys see me losing to those swift parry procs, right? You guys know that Kendrafon is a hundred percent better. In Swift Parry compared to Stone Skin, so do not gear your Candy Phone in Stone Skin. I don't think it's it works. It's just weird. So yeah. Anyways, um, because Hydra is still relatively new content, not many people in this game have decent Stone Skin gear. But as time goes by, when we are seeing someone actually put like at least two, three Stone Skin champion on their arena team, that's when this team setup is going to shine. Okay. So yeah. I guess that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next one. Bye!